Yes, hello, good good morning, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Um, thought I'd do an update. It's been a little while, it's been a few weeks since I've been on, so I'll do an update on, on what's been happening. And uh, my last video was, was basically on the what I had seen as a near-death experience. And, uh, and that's still has been an amazing experience. And you know in the evenings when I'm sometimes not well and just I'm resting it out, it comes to me that uh, that invitation or that friendliness or that calling is always there. You can take it if you, if you wanted to sort of thing, that route. But uh, thinking about it, I thought, why is there a black tunnel? Because, you know, I saw a black tunnel and there was the beautiful scene at the end of that. And I was reminded of, actually it's Psalm 23 that says, you, sh uh, you travel through the valley of, of death. And uh, that there is, is the, the riot is a tunnel is because you have to travel through the darkness and the death that's around, because there is either two ways you can go, is into that depth and darkness or to that beautiful light. And, uh, and, and of course I chose the light but you travel through that tunnel, through the valley of darkness and to the other side. Anyway, that was just a quick update on a little bit more that um, revelation, I suppose, you know, you would call it that's come through since I've been, uh, had done that, that video. But, uh, you know, and it's interesting because health is never valued until you get sick. Uh, I've been struggling a bit for the last couple of weeks. Doesn't get me down, no problems, but just to let you know that... Uh, yeah, I've had a tough few weeks, but uh, hey, here I am, and I'm alive. So, you know, it's almost like <coughs> it's <laughs> when, you, when you listen to some negative things, activity and talks on people who are suffering, it's almost like it's no longer a question of staying healthy, it's a question of uh, what this sickness do I like, you know, or a big all sickness. But, you know, that's, that seems to be a mainstream thought is... Uh, you know, what sickness am I going to have in my older age or whatever, you know? So, um, you know, but to me, he who has health has hope. He who has hope has everything. And I've got hope. And, and, and uh, so I've got everything, <coughs> everything that I need. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it certainly is. So rest when you're weary. No, no wrong with that. Rest when you're weary. Refresh and renew yourself. And that's what I try to do and make sure I do is to, in that place where I can just rest and it's a quiet time, is I let <coughs> my spirit and I let my, uh, you know, the act <coughs> these activities, I be sensitive to them. You know, I can hear the movement outside the room and I can still to hear the music, you know, so there's all this going on in this supernatural realm. So rest when you're weary, refresh and renew yourself. So rather than, I've had a few people email me and say, why didn't I jump towards this and take the opportunity to get to, to go to heaven, say, to go to this place. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> I feel that my time isn't, isn't done here and, uh, and I like to just renew myself, not give up, if you want to call it that. So rest when you're weary, refresh and renew yourself all the time, whether I sit in the garden and meditate or whether it's in the evenings when I can just lay down, I can't, don't go to sleep straight away and sometimes there is pains and things, but you know, I just let all that, let my spirit be ministered to, I, uh, is probably the best way. So yeah, when you're weary, refresh and renew yourself, renew your mind by doing that. Renew your body with the rest and the relaxation and letting your body just chill and also your spirit. So you renew by doing that, by resting your weary body and going into that place. You can renew yourself, your mind, your body and your spirit, which means you can come out uh, a better way, you know, when you wake up in the morning or something. And uh, obviously there's variations to everything. I had a, a severe bowel blockage and that hurt. And, uh, to get through and a, and a really bad chest issue that hurt took a bit to get through still in a lot of pain actually but 
the end of the day, that's not where the focus is. That's not my end goal. But, you know, it's, I'm just sharing with you. <coughs> that's where I'm at. But I intend all the time to refresh and renew and focus on health and value that. So, yeah, just as my update, uh, yes, it's quick. And I'll come on with something more exciting. I'm just working on a few little projects to share with you. But I wanted to update you. It's been a couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, take care. And uh, like I said, you meditate and value health. Because it's not until you get really sick that you lose that value. So value your health. Be conscious of what you can do and where you're, where you're, Mind where your body is at, just be conscious and don't choose your sickness. Say, I'm just going to stay healthy. You know, I know people say, Oh, well, I'm getting this ache, that means later on in life I'm going to have issues, and later on in life I'm going to have this, later on in life I'm going to have that. Folks, you don't need to be thinking like that. <laughs> it, it hurts me to say it. So, like I said, all of my best outcome from this little segment with you is rest when you are weary, refresh and renew yourself, your mind, your body, and your spirit, and come out a better person. I hope that helps you. And that's it for my little catch-up vlog for this week. Thanks again.